this video is all about this algebraic mass where you have 6 raised to power m plus 6 raised to power n equal to 42 and you have n m plus n equal to 3 find the value of m and n now let's begin you have the first equation you have 6 to the power m plus 6 to the power n equal to 42 now let's call this equation 1 now we have m plus n equal to 3 let's call this equation 2 now what we're going to do is that we multiply equation 1 multiply equation 1 with 6 to the power n so if we multiply all them in equation 1 with 6 to the power n we now have 6n times 6n plus 6n times 6n equal to 42 times 6n now according to the law of indices you have m to the power m times so the a to the power m times a to the power n is the same thing as a to the power m plus n and a to the power n times a to the power n is the same thing as a to the power 2n which is the same thing a to the power 2n is the same thing as a to the power n all to the power 2 so according to the law of indices now we're going to apply these rules here you now have this to be 6 to the power m plus n plus 6 to the power n all raised to the power 2 equal to 42 times 6 to the power n now this is our equation 3 so mm, substituting substituting equation 2 into equation 3 now you have m plus n equal to 3 so anyway we see n plus n we replace it with 3 so that we're going to replace this with 3 now so you have 6 raised to power 3 plus 6 to power n all square equal to 42 times 6 raised to power n. So now let p be equal to 6 raised to power n. So anywhere we see 6 raised to power n, we replace it with p. So we now have 6 raised to power 3 plus p square equal to 42. So you see 6 raised to power 3 plus p raised to power 2 is equal to 42p. Now moving this to this other side of the equation, you now have p square minus 42p plus this will now give you 216 equal to 0. Now, to factor this out, now we'll look for factors of um, 216. Now, when you add them together, it will give you 46. Now, if you look at 36 times 6, minus 36, minus 36 times minus 6. If you add these two together, it will give you minus 42. So that means we have minus 36 and minus 6 equal to 0. That means P minus 36 is equal to 0 or P minus 6 is equal to 0. Which then implies that P is equal to 36. If you move this to this side, it becomes P equal to 36. Or if you move this into to this side, you have not have P is equal to 6. So now, since P, we say let P be equal to 
be equal to 6 raised to power be equal to 6 raised to power n so p is equal to 6 raised to power n so 6 raised to power n is equal to 36 and 6 raised to power n and this 36 can be written in this form 6 raised to power 2 so equating the power since the, the bases are the same we have n is equal to 2 then or you have 6 raised to power n as p which is equal to 6 now you have 6 6 is the same thing as 6 raised to power 1 so if, since the bases are the same we quit the powers so that means that means n is equal to 2 or 1 so where n for the, con for the condition when n is equal to 2 you have m plus n equal to 3 so if you replace anywhere we see n put, we replace it with 2 you have m plus 2 equal to 3 so if you move this 2 to this other side you have m is equal to 1 then for n equal to 1 you have m plus n equal to what 3 so we have m plus now replace this n with 1 you have 1 is equal to 3 so m if you move this one to this other side you now have m equal to what 2 so that means when n is equal to 1 m is equal to 2 when n is equal to 2 m is equal to 1 so this is the solution to this problem thank you for watching till the end have a nice day